ngayong ika na Oktubre, taong 2022, tayo ay nandito po sa press conference ng Philippine Statistics Authority para sa paunang resulta ng August 2022 Labor Force Survey. Ako po si Anne Alfardo, ang inyong host. Nais po namin ipaalam na itong press conference ay live stream sa PSA Facebook page at ang mga impormasyong iuulat mamaya ay mababasa po sa PSA Twitter gamit ang hashtag PHEmployment. Ngayong umaga, kasama po natin ang ating research person na siyang mag-uulat tungkol sa mga paunang resulta ng August 2022 Labor Force Survey. Ikinararangal ko pong ipakilala sa inyo ang ating research person, si PSA Undersecretary Dr. James S. Mapa, National Statistician and Civil Registrar General. Ngayon, pakinggan na po natin si Mrs. Mapa para sa kanyang ulat. Magandang umaga sa ating lahat. Ang Philippine Statistics Authority ay mag-uulat ng buwanang labor and employment statistics base sa paunang resulta ng Agusto 2022 Labor Force Survey. Ang pagkalap ng datos para sa August 2022 LFS ay ginawa sa loob ng labing walong araw mula ikawalo hanggang ikadalawamput pito ng Agusto nitong taon. Nitong Agusto 2022, 10,810 ang total households na nasurvey ng Philippine Statistics Authority. Samantala, 43,521 naman ang total households na nasurvey noong Hulyo 2022 at 10,919 noong Agusto noong nakaraang taon. Sa populasyon ng labing limang taong gulang pataas, ang bilang ng nasa labor force o mga individual na employed o unemployed ay naitala sa 50.55 million nitong Agusto 2022. Ito ay mas mataas kung ikukumpara sa 49.99 million noong Hulyo 2022 at 48.11 million noong Agusto ng nakaraang taon. Ang labor force participation rate nitong Agusto 2022 ay nasa 66.1%. Ito ay mas mataas sa naitalang labor force participation rate noong Hulyo 2022 na nasa 65.2% at higit na mas mataas kung ikukumpara sa naitala noong Agusto 2021 na nasa 63.6% lamang. Nitong Agusto 2022, ang employed persons o bilang ng mga may trabaho o negosyo ay naitala sa 47.87 million. Ito ay mas mataas ng 478,000 kaysa sa naitala noong Hulyo 2022 na nasa 47.39 million at higit na mas mataas kumpara sa bilang noong Agosto 2021 na nasa 44.23 million lamang. Ang employment rate nitong Agusto 2022 ay nasa 94.7% at ito ay mas mababa ng 0.1% kumpara nung Hulyo 2022 na nasa 94.8%. Ito naman ay higit na mas mataas kumpara sa Agusto 2021 na nasa 91.7%. Ang unemployed persons o bilang nang nasa labor force na walang trabaho o negosyo na naghahanap at available na magtrabaho ditong Agusto 2022 ay nasa 2.68 million. Ito ay bahagyang mas mataas kumpara noong nakaraang Hulyo 2022 na nasa 2.6 million, ngunit higit na mas mababa kumpara sa 3.88 million noong Agusto 2021. Ang unemployment rate nitong Agusto 2022 ay naitala sa 5.3% o 53 sa bawat isang libong individual na nasa labor force ang walang trabaho o negosyo. Ito ay bahagyang mas mataas kumpara nung Hulyo 2022 na nasa 5.2%. Ito naman ay mas mababa kumpara sa naitala nung Agusto 2021 na nasa 8.1%. Ang bilang ng underemployed nitong Agusto 2022 ay tinatayang nasa 7.03 million. Ito ay mas mataas ng 488,000 kung ikukumpara sa naitalang bilang ng underemployed noong Hulyo 2022 na nasa 
54 million. Makikitang mas mataas din ito ng 548,000 kumpara sa bilang ng underemployed noong Agusto na nakalipas na taon na nasa 6.48 million. Ang underemployment rate nitong Agusto 2022 ay tinatayang nasa 14.7%. Ito ay kapareho lamang kumpara sa naitala noong Agusto 2021, ngunit higit na mas mataas kaysa sa naitala noong Hulyo 2022 na nasa 13.8%. Kung atin namang susuriin ang mga datos ayon sa kasarian, sa buwan ng Agosto 2022, ang labor force participation rate ng mga kalalakihan ay nasa 76.2%. Ito ay mas mataas kaysa sa mga kababaihan na nasa 55.9% lamang. Nitong Agosto 2022, ang employment rate ng mga kalalakihan ay naitala sa 95.0% at makikitang mas mataas kumpara sa naitala para sa mga kababaihan na nasa 94.2%. Samantala, 5% o 50 kada isang libo na kalalakihan na nasa labor force ang walang trabaho o negosyo na naghahanap ng trabaho at available magtrabaho nitong Agusto 2022. Ito ay makikitang mas mababa sa unemployment rate ng mga kababaihan na nasa 5.8%. Sa mga employed na kalalakihan nitong Agusto 2022, 16.5% sa kanila ay matatawag na underemployed. Higit ito na mas mataas kumpara sa underemployment rate ng mga kababaihan na nasa 12.2%. Kung ang datos ng pangunahing sektor naman ang ating titingnan nitong Agosto 2022, ang services sector pa rin ang nananatiling bumubuo sa may pinakamalaking bahagi ng labor force na may 59.9% share. Kasunod nito ang agriculture sector na may 22.6% share habang ang industry sector naman ay nagkaroon ng 17.5% share. Kung ikukumpara naman ang estimates ng mga subsector nitong Agusto 2022 sa Hulyo 2022, ang mga subsector na may pinakamalaking pagtaas sa bilang ng may trabaho o negosyo ay ang mga sumusunod. Wholesale and retail trade, repair of motor vehicles and motorcycles, may dagdag na 378,000. Ang mga nangunguna sa pagtaas sa sektor na ito ay ang retail selling in department stores, retail sales in non-specialized stores with food, beverages, or tobacco predominating, at wholesale of agriculture raw materials and live animals. Pangalawa, ang transportation and storage may dagdag na 256,000 at base sa datos, tumaas ang bilang ng employed sa other passenger land transport gaya ng jeepney, UB Express, tricycle and pedicab, taxi, courier activities at passenger air transport. Pangatlo, ang manufacturing may dagdag na 178,000. Nagmula ang pagtaas sa employed sa manufacturing of bakery products, manufacturing of other miscellaneous articles gaya ng buttons, brooms and brushes, signs and advertising displays, at building of ship and floating structure. Pangapat, financial and insurance activities may dagdag na 83,000. Nagmula sa pagtaas ng employed sa other monetary intermediation gaya ng universal, commercial, thrift, rural banking, cooperative banking and stock savings and loan activities, credit cooperative activity and commodity contract brokerage. Panglima, ang professional, scientific and technical activities may dagdag na 82,000. At nagmula ito sa architectural and engineering activities and related technical consultancy. Activities of head offices gaya ng overseeing and managing of other units of the company or enterprise at advertising. Kung ikukumpara ang estimates sa mga subsector nitong Agosto 2022 sa Agosto 2021, ang mga subsector ng may pinakamalaking pagtaas sa bilang ng may trabaho o negosyo ay ang mga sumusunod. Wholesale and retail trade, repair of motor vehicles and motorcycles, may dagdag na 1.54 million. 
accommodation and food service activities may dagdag na 479,000. Administrative and support service activities may dagdag na 416,000. Transportation and storage may dagdag na 349,000. At education may dagdag na 288,000. Samantala, ang mga subsector na may pinakamalaking pagbaba sa bilang ng mga may trabaho o negosyo kung ikukumpara ang Agusto 2022 sa Hulyo 2022 ay ang mga sumusunod. Fishing and aquaculture may bawas na 286,000. Ang pagbaba sa bilang ng employed sa sektor na ito ay mula sa marine fishing at freshwater fishing. Pangalawa, ang construction may bawas na 258,000 mula naman sa construction of buildings at building completion and finishing. Pangatlo, ang arts, entertainment, and recreation may bawas na 64,000 mula ito sa pagbaba ng bilang ng employed sa creative arts and entertainment activities, gambling and betting activities, at activities at amusement parks and theme parks. Pangapat, ang human health and social work activities may bawas na 37,000. Mula naman ito sa private hospitals, sanitaria, and other similar activities, public hospitals, sanitaria, and other similar activities, other residential care activities gaya ng child care services, and caring for orphans. Panglima, ang real estate activities may bawas na 37,000. Ito naman ay mula sa renting or leasing services of residential properties at real estate buying, selling, renting, leasing, and operating of self-owned or lease apartment buildings, non-residential, and dwellings. Sa kabilang banda, mga subsector na may pinakamalaking pagbawa sa bilang ng may trabaho o negosyo kung ikukumpara ang Agusto 2022 sa Agusto 2021 ay ang mga sumusunod. Agriculture and forestry may bawas na 140,000. Fishing and aquaculture may bawas na 124,000. Construction may bawas na 81,000. Manufacturing may bawas na 48,000. At information and communication may bawas na 12,000. Nitong Agusto 2022 na itala sa 40.5 hours ang average hours work in a week ng mga manggagawa o may negosyo. At ito ay kapareho lamang kumpara sa naitalang average hours work in a week doong July 2022, ngunit higit na mas mataas kumpara sa Agusto na nakalipas na taon na nasa 39.6 hours in a week lamang. Tinatayang nasa 33.2% ang mga employed na nagtatrabaho o nagninegosyo na hindi aabot sa 40 hours sa isang linggo nitong Agusto 2022. Ito ay nasa 34% noong Hulyo 2022 habang 36.5% naman noong Agusto 2021. Samantala, tumaas sa 65.6% ang mga nagtatrabaho ng lagpas 40 hours nitong Agusto 2022 mula sa 65.0% noong Hulyo 2022. Kung ating susuriin ang mga datos simula nitong Abril 2020 hanggang Agusto 2022, ang may pinakamababang labor force participation rate ay naitala noong Abril 2020 na nasa 55.7%. Mapapansin din na malaking pagbaba sa buwan ng Oktubre 2020, Hulyo 2021 at Enero 2022. Samantala, ang pinakamataas na labor force participation rate ay naitala nitong Agusto 2022 na nasa 66.1%. Patuloy naman ang pagtaas ng employment rate mula Abril 2020 hanggang Agusto 2022 mula sa 82.4% noong Abril 2020. Ito ay naitala sa 94.7% nitong Agusto 2022. Mapapansin na nagkaroon lang ng bagyang pagbaba noong Enero, Abril, Agusto, Setyembre at Disyembre 2021 at Mayo at Agusto 2022. Mapapansin na hindi stable ang movement ng underemployment rate sa loob ng 23 survey rounds mula Abril 2020 hanggang Agusto 2022. Ang pinakamataas na underemployment rate ay naitala noong Hulyo 2021 
na nasa 21%. Samantala, ang may pinakamababa naman ay naitala noong Mayo 2021 na nasa 12.3%. Samantalang unemployment rate ay tinatayang pinakamataas noong Abril 2020 na nasa 17.6% ay nagkaroon ng pagbaba mula Hulyo 2020 hanggang nitong Agusto 2022. Mapapansin na nagkaroon lang ng bagyang pagtaas noong Enero, Abril, Agusto, Setyembre at Disyembre 2021 at noong Mayo at Hunyo noong taong 2022. Dito nagtatapos ang aming pag-uulat sa paunang resulta ng Agusto 2022 Labor Force Survey. Ang Philippine Statistics Authority ay malugod na nagpapasalamat sa inyong pakikilahok sa press briefing na ito. Muli magandang araw at mabuhay tayong lahat. Maraming salamat po, Yusek Mapa, sa pagbahagi sa amin ng paunang resulta ng August 2022 Labor Force Survey. Matapos po natin marinig ang ulat ni Yusek Mapa, Nandito na po tayo sa bahagi ng Open Forum. Bago natin simulan, nais po namin pasalamatan ng ating mga media partners joining us on-site at the Sokutao Philippine Plaza, Manila, and through online video conferencing. Para po sa maayos na pagsasagawa ng ating Open Forum, narito po ang ilang mga paalala. Sa mga online participants natin na nais magtanong sa ating resource person, Maaari po ninyong gamitin ang raise hand feature via Zoom. Once called by the host, kindly unmute your mic and state your question. Maaari rin po kayo magpadala ng inyong mga katanungan via Zoom chat, kung saan ang host ang magbabasa po ng inyong tanong para sa ating resource person. Meanwhile, to our media partners on-site, if you would like to ask a question to our resource person, please raise your hand to be recognized. Kapag kayo po ay natawag, kindly state your name and organization before raising your question. Okay, so yun lamang po ang ating mga paalala. Um, simulan, na po na na, simulan na po natin ang ating open forum. Okay, ang unang tanong po natin ay galing dito sa Zoom chat. Um, ito po ay mula kay uh, July Rada of Manila Standard. An economist said higher inflation will result in higher costs, but lower profits for companies and eventually layoffs and job losses. What is your take on this? Thank you very much uh, sa question. Sa ngayon, hindi pa nakikita no? yung uh, pagwaba ng uh, employment rate. In fact, uh, nakikita natin uh, dito sa uh, report ng August 2022 ay uh, mas marami ang nagparticipate sa labor force. Tumaas yung ating labor force participation rate. Yung ating labor force participation rate na 66.1% uh, uh, ay significantly higher no? kung ikukumpara natin doon sa July na 65.2%. So nakita talaga natin na uh, tumaas yung uh, ating uh, labor force participation rate. Uh, mas marami ang nag-participate. And of course, uh, uh, gaya ng dati, gano'n naman ang nakikita natin pag marami yung nag-participate sa labor force, tumataas yung ating employment rate at tumataas din yung ating un uh, unemployment rate kasi uh, may mga, may mga nag-participate na hindi talaga nakahanap ng trabaho. So, uh, hindi pa na nakikita sa datos ano, yung pagbaba uh, ng uh, uh, labor force participation and even the employment rate. But titingnan natin sa mga susunod na uh, survey rounds. no, Tuloy-tuloy uh, naman yung uh, monthly survey ng uh, Philippine Statistics Authority, both on, as you mentioned, inflation at saka dito sa labor force uh, uh, statistics natin. Thank you. Thank you, Yusek Mapa. Ang susunod na tanong po ay galing kay Mr. Ted Cordero of GMA News Online. Tumaas po ang employed pero tumaas pa rin po ang unemployed. Ano po ang dahilan sa pag-akyat ng unemployment rate? Uh, thank you, Ted. Um, ganun ang kung titingnan natin yung datos, ano, pag tumataas talaga yung labor force participation na uh, substantial, so sabi ko nga uh, yung ating labor force participation rate is significantly higher, 66.1% nitong uh, Agusto versus 65.2% nung uh, uh, Hulyo. At uh, nagdagdag siya ng mga 557,000 na uh, uh, mga pumasok sa labor force. Uh, talagang nagkakaroon ng um, 
karamihan dyan nagiging employed pero may portion na nagiging unemployed. Ang karamihan na unemployed sa kanila, so dito may dagdag tayo ng mga 79,000. Ito yung mga new entrants. Uh, yung first time na pumasok sa sa labor force. no At um, ang kadalasan dito na mga age group ay uh, yung 15 to 24, saka 24 to uh, 35. So, ang karamihan talaga dito, yung 15 to 24, parang mga new entries, into the new entrants into the labor force. And uh, sila yung medyo mataas yung kanilang uh, unemployment rate compared sa sa national level. So, uh, 79,000 ang dagdag um, versus naman uh, 79,000 dagdag sa unemployed. Pero kung titingnan natin yung other side naman, uh, 478,000 yung dagdag naman sa employed. Thank you. Thank you po, Yusek Mata. Um, okay, I see Mr. Rafi Pima raising his hand. Mr. Rafi, you're acknowledged po. Uh, good morning po. Can you hear me? Yes, Rafi. Uh, sir, yung drop sa unemployment sa agri and fisheries, uh, seasonal po ba ito? And also sa construction, bakit po ba considering uh, supposedly eh, balik na yung economic activity natin? Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, yung uh, tama ka, no? yung uh, talagang uh, month on month, ano? yung pagbaba uh, sa ating uh, uh, number of employed persons dito sa sa uh, ag- sa agri mo na, fisheries in particular kasi sila yung nag nag uh, contribute no so kanina uh, dalawa nga yung nakikita natin yung uh, marine uh, fishing at saka freshwater fishing no uh, yung marine fishing may bawas talaga malaki ito ano um, 204,000 uh, August versus uh, July um, dalawa yung ang ang nakikita namin dito ano of course we have the weather uh, pero di ba ito talaga yung tinatamaan ng pagtaas ng presyo ng uh, diesel So possibly na and ito nakikita natin no uh, in the past na uh, pwedeng naapektuhan yung kanilang mga paglabas uh, dahil nga uh, sa mataas na input cost primarily diesel. Uh, nag nagtitingin kami uh, sumama ako sa mga surveys natin sa both uh, municipal and commercial uh, marine fishing at ito yung uh, parang reklamo ng mga commercial uh, fisher folks natin na uh, talagang sobrang taas yung uh, cost ng diesel. Kaya uh, binabawasan nila yung araw na paglabas. So, posibleng uh, uh, ganito yung nangyari dito. Sa construction naman, yung pangalawang uh, um, uh, uh, sinight mo, uh, nakikita namin na ang, ang uh, construction of new buildings, so ito yung both vertical and horizontal, malaki yung uh, pagbawas dito, uh, 204,000, uh, plus yung partner niya, yung completion and finishing. No? So, uh, yung pagpagawa saka yung parang uh, sa sa loob ng ng uh, either house or or building. So ito yung nag-contribute mga uh, 204,000 doon sa construction of buildings at 57,000 doon sa uh, building completion. Uh, kinit nakikita ng ano no sa dato sa uh, uh, mga initial na uh, observation na uh, may mga bawas sa ating uh, sa ating uh, activities dito sa construction, possibly dito sa house, house, housing, yung horizontal. Uh, kaya ka- nagkaroon ng uh, kabawasan dun sa employed uh, persons. Thank you. Uh, ma'am, pwede po mag-follow up? Go ahead, sir. Um, would you consider po na um, mataas or alarming yung pagbaba dun sa fisheries? Uh, considering napakalaki ng industriyang ito uh, at yung problema ng pagtaas sa diesel, Uh, alam ko meron dating uh, intervention dito by uh, uh, either LGUs or DA. Um, ano po yung resulta ng mga intervention na ito? For example, yung fuel subsidy. Uh, kung meron lang po tayong datos. Thank you po. Uh, doon sa uh, impact of intervention, no? uh, hindi, hindi uh, kami uh, nakakakuha ng, ng... Hindi namin na-incorporate dito kasi survey lang itong ginagawa namin pero pwede yung ating mga researchers ay uh, magtingin. Um, I agree na yung number dito no although of course this is uh, very specific to this particular uh, uh, group uh, which is marine fishing but but the number is is quite substantial particularly yung 204,000 uh, na na nabawas dito sa uh, marine fishing. So uh, siguro dapat tingnan no uh, ang ang detalye nito but um, In terms of the number, uh, it, it's quite uh, relatively, no, mataas siya at more than uh, 200,000. Thank you. Thank you, Yusek Mata. 
Um, our next question is again from Zoom chat. This time it's from Ms. Eileen Mencias. Her question is about the pogo industry. Uh, okay, she has three questions related to the subject. Uh, please allow me to deliver first uh, the two questions. Okay, are pogos captured in the survey? Would you have data on how many Filipinos are employed by pogos or how many have worked because of them? Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Eileen. Yung, um, yung specific talaga, Pogo, uh, hindi siya captured as a, a specific item. Ano? Pero dalawang uh, pinanggagalingan niya na uh, parang activities. Uh, una, yung uh, nasa gambling and betting activities. Uh, at yung pangalawa ay nasa entertainment and recreation activities. Uh, pero hindi namin na, na, na pipin down kung talagang pogo yon Now, yung gambling and betting activities, may pagbaba uh, tayo uh, sa number of workers July versus August ng mga about 25,000, ang estimate. Uh, dito naman sa recreation and entertainment, mayroon ding uh, pagbaba mga 38,000. So both of these uh, uh, two uh, subgroups where uh, nandoon yung mga activities related to Pogo, may pagbaba siya. Pero we cannot really pin down, unfortunately, kung talagang specific ito doon sa Pogo activities. Thank you. Thank you, Yusek Mata. Miss um, Eileen has another question related to the Pogo industry. If one is to study the employment generated by Pogos for Filipinos, what are the variables to consider? Well, una muna, uh, siguro titingnan talaga natin, i-pin down natin yung specific na, na parang uh, code niya, industry, specific sub-industry code. So we can start there. Uh, yun ang titingnan ng uh, PSA kung pwede nating ma mahabol doon sa specific niya para ma-identify natin talaga. As I mentioned uh, kanina, hindi namin ma-identify kung itong reduction sa dalawang uh, sub uh, sectors no yung uh, gambling and betting activities sa kayong entertainment and recreation sector where pogo uh, is large ay directly uh, related to pogo so siguro the first step is really to uh, to uh, uh, identify the specific code no uh, for uh, for this particular uh, activity um, i will i will consult our technical staff on this thank you Thank you, Paul Yusek Mata. Okay, we have a question from our media partner on site. Ma'am, yes. Uh, you may use the microphone. Hi, good morning. Good morning. I'm Irish from Business World. Uh, my question would be, with a 6.9 inflation rate for September, how do you think it would affect the unemployment rate for the coming months, especially that more Filipinos are experiencing the effects of higher transport costs with the increase of minimum fare. And also, I would like to request for the year-to-date of key employment indicators. Uh, okay, yung, uh, yung uh, employment rate natin, um, una, pag pumasok na yung last quarter, yung bare months, no? Uh, in the past, tumataas yung ating employment kasi may mga seasonal uh, activities, no? yung sa retail. Uh, so, may, may uh, expectation if we look at yung seasonality factor, uh, tataas yung number. Uh, now, of course, um, given the high prices, uh, there might be some uh, uh, challenges. No? But in the past, uh, talagang pag bare months na ay mayroong dagdag talaga na employed person. So, we will look at it uh, starting the September round no, na uh, tapos na ang ating uh, data collection and uh, the technical team is just doing the data validation and reporting. But but if you ask me, uh, in the past years, uh, kahit na yung pre-COVID, normally uh, um, ma ma mataas, maganda ang economic activity during the last quarter. So if we look at seasonality, uh, we can we can actually see uh, or we can expect higher uh, number of employed persons and even those that are participating. Uh, but uh, of course, uh, as I mentioned, uh, there, there will be challenge on the on the inflation side. Thank you. Uh, yung, uh, yung time series uh, average January to August. Yung ba yung tinatanong mo yung, yung year to date no? Uh, can we get the uh, average quickly? Sa rate muna. 
Balikan na lang. Balikan na lang. Ikukompute muna nila. Pero the data is available. Ah, okay. Hindi ito na pala. Can you go to the rates? Labor force participation average from uh, January to August is 64.2%. And then yung employment natin. Employment average January to August is 94.2%. Unemployment. Unemployment is 5.8%. Uh, and then underemployment is 14.3% average January to August. Thank you. Thank you, Yusek Mata. Our next question is from um, July Rada of Manila Standard, sent via Zoom chat. Based on your assessment, what is the impact of the 6.9% inflation to the income of minimum wage earners? Oh, well, yung uh, inflation naman talaga, as uh, na-mention ko yun kahapon, ano, na talagang uh, may expectation na tataas yung, para, tataas talaga yung basket of goods no, na kinukonsume, particularly food. So, uh, if there is no uh, corresponding increase in income, uh, talagang very challenging. Uh, kasi dalawa naman yan, ano, uh, uh, titingnan mo yung, sa, for example, sa family, family income and expenditure survey, dalawa palagi ang tinitingnan. May mga years tayo kung saan mataas yung increase uh, sa prices of goods and uh, commodities, uh, pero mataas ang income din na increase. So, um, in, in the end, yung, yung welfare is uh, positive. Uh, but dito, uh, dahil uh, mataas nga yung ating uh, inflation, uh, plus uh, lalo na yung sa food items, uh, we, will, we will check. You know? I'm, I'm actually asking the technical staff to check the, the, the movement in terms of uh, average and uh, mean and median wages uh, by sector uh, para makita natin kung ano ang increases dito sa wages relative to the increases sa prices. Pero sa ngayon, wala pa kami datos because they're still... Uh, doing the computation on the on the mean and median wage uh, side. But we will provide that to you uh, once available. Thank you. Thank you, Yusek. Uh, July has a follow-up question. Do you think the recent minimum wage hikes will not be enough because of higher inflation? Um, admittedly, I have not looked at the data yet, uh, but uh, I, I will, I will uh, request the technical staff to study the increases uh, sa regional wages and compare it with the regional inflation rate. Thank you. Thank you, Yusek. Uh, the next question is from Mr. Warren de Guzman. Is the, is the volatile underemployment rate a direct result of high inflation? Also, can you explain how the employment rate decreased even though the number of employed increased? Okay, yung sa underemployment, um, maraming mga factors, ano, pero ang isang, uh, uh, ang isang factor dito ay yung, yung uh, new entrant nga or, or yung increases rather in the labor force. No? So as I mentioned, nagkaroon tayo ng significant number uh, na pagtaas sa labor force uh, participation, nagdagdag ng 557,000. No? So uh, pwede na uh, employed ka o unemployed ka. Uh, nakita natin, doon sa 557,000, marami dito ang employed. You know, 478,000. Ang unemployed, 79,000. So that's the reason why uh, kahit na tumaas yung labor force participation, uh, tumaas yung uh, number sa employed, tumaas din yung number sa unemployed. Kasi ganun talaga, pag uh, lahat, hindi lahat ng mga pumapasok sa labor force ay nagkakaroon ng trabaho. Uh, now, doon naman sa underemployed, uh, may portion tayo na yung kapapasok lang na new employed, kumbaga, ay pwedeng underemployed siya. No? So, dito, uh, actually, sa, sa between, between uh, July and August, sa mga new entrants, ang uh, underemployed nung July na new entrants ay 137,000. So, 137,000 na pumasok nung July, underemployed kaagad sila while they are employed. Itong August, uh, 98,000. Uh, but if you look at the percentage, um, I'll, I'll, kasi, kasi mababa rin yung base ng new entrants noong, uh, noong August. Eh. So if you look at the percentage, um, that would be uh, 98,000 divided by uh, 782. 782 kasi yung new entrants. So 12.5% sa mga new entrants noong August ay underemployed. Noong July naman, uh, 
13% sa kanila. So, hindi naman siguro significant yon. So, may nagko-contribute talaga na underemployed from the new entrants. But there are also underemployed doon sa existing uh, uh, member of the labor force na even if we take out this uh, new entrant. I, I hope I was able to uh, answer your question, Warren. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Yusek Mapa? Okay, our next question is again sent via Zoom chat. Uh, this time it's from uh, Drea Calonzo of Bloomberg News. Ano po ang dahilan ng pagtaas ng labor force participation rate ngayong Agosto? Nakikita natin na uh, tumataas talaga yung labor force participation rate. Um, of course, uh, we are uh, seeing uh, you know, um, economic activity, uh, wala na yung mga restrictions. At uh, yung mga iba, uh, nakakawa siguro ng, uh, ng chance na, no, na uh, makapagtrabaho. Ang karamihan na pumapasok naman, sabi ko kanina, ang pumapasok na dagdag sa ating labor force ay yung uh, galing sa 15 to 24 na age group at saka 25 to 34. May mga iba rin mga age group tayo na pumapasok but uh, karamihan sa kanila uh, dito talaga sa 15 to 24 saka 25 to 34. So, yung uh, dagdag, uh, may, may datos tayo, yung dagdag sa labor force uh, participants uh, between uh, July to August, uh, how many thousand? 158,000 ang dagdag galing doon sa 15 to 24. At saka 312,000 ang galing naman sa 25 to 34. So, uh, mas marami tayong 25 to 34 compared to July na uh, nag-decide uh, to uh, participate in the labor force. So, uh, what 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 uh, we are seeing is that, of course, with the increased economic activities, um, you have more uh, uh, individuals, uh, particularly from these two, uh, two age groups uh, that are now joining the labor force. Thank you. Thank you, Yusek. Okay, our next question is again from Mr. Warren de Guzman. Uh, regarding the construction job losses, can this be linked to the high cost of construction materials? Um, we don't have that information, Warren, unfortunately, I know, but uh, if, if um, uh, perhaps if some, some researchers can, can study, because uh, as we report uh, in, in our other uh, official statistics report that, uh, yes, uh, construction materials uh, are, are increasing. So th that is really uh, uh, one possible uh, uh, reasons. But uh, right now, I cannot really pin down if that is uh, the uh, major driver. Thank you. Thank you, Yusek. Um, our next question is from July Rada of Manila Standard. Uh, the question is about the education sector. Did, um, how did the opening of face-to-face -face classes in the middle of August contribute to the overall employment rate? And as a follow-up question, how many jobs were added to the sectors related to education? Okay. Um, yung... Um... Yung data na nakikita namin uh, dito, uh, dalawa no, yung medyo mataas ang increase sa uh, uh, employed persons, uh, August versus July 2022. Una yung primary elementary education. So may dagdag siya ng mga 88,000. Saka secondary education, mga close to 80,000. So dito nakikita rin natin na yung face-to-face. -face. Nagdagdag naman kasi ito yung primary elementary and then the secondary education. So nagkaroon ng dagdag. Although may bawas uh, naman dito sa preschool. So uh, I, I'm not so sure. No, I don't have uh, information whether uh, bumalik yung uh, mga preschool. Pero sa data natin, ang tumaas ay primary, elementary, and general secondary. So that is uh, uh, most likely as a result of the face-to-face. -face. Thank you. Thank you, Yusek. Uh, we have a live question from Ms. Sky Ordinario. Nagkaroon na, na po ba ng shift yung um, increase? Kasi usually before the March, mga graduates. So, na-observe nyo na po ba yun? And then, also regarding the the jobs created uh, since the pandemic, uh, ilan na po ba so far ang 
kailangan pang habulin based on the August data. Thank you. Okay, yung uh, marami, mas maraming new entrants nung July compared sa August, no? Um, so, mayroon tayong nakitang decrease uh, in new entrants sa August. So, I think uh, yung, yung timing siguro ng, uh, ng pagtapos ay doon sa July. Uh, so, we, we, we uh, the data that we're seeing first is that uh, August uh, versus July 2022, there's a decrease in new entrants. Ang, ang, uh, Characteristics naman ng uh, new entrants itong August, most of them are female, uh, age 15 to 24. Um, ang employed ay male, 15 to 24 then. At uh, yung mga unemployed na new entrants ay galing dun sa female. Uh, unfortunately, that's what the data is showing, 15 to 24. So, mas maraming new entrant na female, age 15 to 24. Uh, pero unfortunately, mas maraming naging unemployed sa kanila compared dun sa male counterpart. Um, we, we, can, we can still scrutinize the data uh, later siguro. Uh, yung sinasabi mo na yung timing, we have to look at the time series. But uh, between July and August, those are the information that I can provide uh, at this point. Come again. Yung, um, since the pandemic, um, we have to... We have to get the monthly data from April 2020. So uh, we'll just share that with you. Ipa extract ko lang muna sa technical team. Thank you. Thank you, Yusek, and thank you, Ms. Kai. Our question now is from Ms. Eileen Mencia, sent via Zoom chat. Her question is about the labor force participation rate and the number of people getting jobs. Okay. Pag bur months, Madami ang nakakahanap ng trabaho dahil nagkakaroon ng increased activity, ngunit dumadami din ang naghahanap ng trabaho. Nitong Setyembre, marami ang nakahanap ng trabaho, ngunit marami din ang naghahanap ng trabaho. Do you see the increase in the labor force participation rate outpacing the increase in the number of people getting jobs in the coming months? Again, uh, as I mentioned kanina, first, tamang observation mo and uh, ito'y uh, nakikita natin naman sa previous years ano, na mayroon talagang uh, seasonality. Uh, normally, uh, pag fourth quarter, and it, it, I agree, it may start sa September, nagkakaroon ng uh, maraming, uh, mas maraming seasonal economic activities. No? So you're seeing it in malls and so on. So normally doon ang uh, uh, mga dagdag na, na trabaho kanina, even sa August, nakita natin kanina na may dagdag doon sa retail trade in department stores. So, pwede na that's already a signal ng, ng start. Um, yung question mo na kung, kung mas marami ang mag, uh, maraming available na jobs and then mas marami ang uh, mag-participate, what will happen? Uh, based again on data, pag substantial ang uh, increase sa uh, labor force participation, just like this one, uh, nakikita naman talaga natin na unfortunately, hindi talaga sila lahat nakahanap ng trabaho. So, mayroong uh, portion na makakapagtrabaho, may portion na hindi makapagtrabaho. And normally, uh, dahil na manggagaling ito sa new entrants, no, yung, yung dagdag sa labor force participation, uh, sadly, and uh, this is unfortunate, ang unemployment rate ng new entrants ay mas mataas kaysa sa national unemployment rate. Uh, so, for example, ngayon yung unemployment rate natin ay nasa 5.3%. Ang unemployment rate ng new entrants normally nasa double digit yun. Eh. So, mas mataas yung unemployment rate nila. So, uh, kaya uh, doon nagdadagdag sila rin sa uh, unemployed persons. Pero mayroon din malaking component nila na uh, nasa employed group naman. So, mayroon talagang dynamics and uh, based on past... Uh, uh, data, as I've said, uh, not all that would participate in labor for labor market uh, would really get a job. Thank you. Thank you po, Yusek. Meron po siyang uh, follow-up question. The line graph on unemployment is practically flat and even inched up in September. Would it be fair to say that not much headway has been achieved in terms of providing jobs for Filipinos? Ang uh, nakita natin kanina yung average uh, January to kasi we should not be looking at one specific month but let's look at the the average ano so 5.8 yung average natin na uh, unemployment from January to uh, uh, 
uh, August 2022. Um, kung i-compare kasi natin ito sa 2019, yung pre-pandemic, ano, nasa 5.1, 5.2 lang yata tayo. So, uh, we are uh, we are still uh, siguro mga 6.6 percentage point. So uh if if you asked uh whether you know we are we are while well, the unemployment rate is um relatively going down since the start of the month uh, nitong year um it's it's still not uh, as as low ang unemployment rate compared sa uh, pre-pandemic uh which is uh just uh, between 5.1 and 5.2. Thank you. Thank you po Yusek. We have a live question po um from our media partner on site. I would like to follow up with the year ago levels of key employment indicators. Ah, last. Yeah. Okay. Last. 2021 and 2020 and 2019. Uh, ah, okay. Ito na pala. I, I'm, I'm looking at this. So, uh, unemployment rate. Noong 2019, this is 5.1. Uh, yun yung sinasabi ko kanina between 5.1 5.2. 5.1 siya. 2019. 2020, it's uh, 10.4. Of course, that's the highest. And then uh, 2021, 7.8. And then ngayon, January to August, 5.8. Okay. Sa underemployment, ang uh, 2019, 13.8. 2020, 16.4. 2021, 15.9. And then yung January to, to uh, August natin ay 14.3. 14.3. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Paul Yusek. Um, our next question is from Mr. War Mr. Warren de Guzman, sent via Zoom chat. How is the earlier observed trend of more seniors joining the labor force? And he wants to know if that trend has stopped. The 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 movement of the trend has stopped. Okay, I'm I'm uh, looking at uh, labor force participation, uh, sixty-five and above, no, because uh, it's a group. Siya. So, nung January, uh, it, it increased actually nung March. So, um, I'm looking at 2022 uh, January. Uh, so, this is about 32 percent labor force participation. And then uh, March, I'm sorry, February, 34.8%. And then uh, March is 39. Can you, 39.8, yun yung parang peak. And then uh, 36.1 in April, 34.9 sa May, 38.2 sa June, 37.9 sa July, and 36.7 sa August. So uh, from the point estimate, um, Peak niya is uh, March, uh, but it's it's also increasing itong Ju June, July, August. But uh, we have to we have to test it uh, whether that is significant. But those are the numbers as mentioned. Thank you, Paul Yusek. Um, do we have other questions, Paul, to our resource person? Okay, it seems that is the last question, Paul. Okay, so. Nais nice po namin pasalamatan kayong lahat sa pakikinig at pagsali sa press briefing ng paunang resulta ng August 2022 Labor Force Survey. Um, para po sa ating mga media partners, before we end po, may we request uh, you to accomplish a short evaluation form. The QR code is flashed on the screen. And yung link po ay pinadali rin po namin sa Zoom chat. This form will be helpful for us to get your feedback on the conduct of this press briefing. So that ends our press conference. Sana'y patuloy po ninyong suportahan ang mga activities ng Philippine Statistics Authority. Muli, ako po si Ange Icardo ng PSA. Maraming salamat at magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Thank you, thank you.